We're now getting more information on the sunken Chinese nuclear submarine, and this is all getting absolutely bad for the PLA Navy and for Xi Jinping. A general related to this incident has already been arrested, and everything ties back to Chinese Defense Minister Li Shangfu. Welcome to China Insider, I'm David Zhang. Now, on August 21st, a Chinese nuclear submarine sunk in the Yellow Sea, and uh, people since then have been giving out more information, and we're now getting some confirmed details because based on the sheer number of uh, reports. Now, I did a video a few days ago on the background information, so I'll link that in the card here, and you can check it out. Right now, the amount of information and evidence that we can gather is confirming that the incident itself did take place, and there are some possible reasons. In our last episode, what we focused on was the oxygen suffocation a scenario and according to documents from the British intelligence this did happen and 55 on board died according to Luda Media who is a Chinese dissident what happened was the submarine they on board had a problem with mechanical issues so they sent out a diver to investigate and repair in that process the diver made an error and triggered something with the oxygen tanks and that led to the onboard staff all suffocating from the buildup of harmful gases according to Luda's information the plausible explanation I can give is, is that the onboard oxygen monitor system, the CAM system in the US, it's what it's called, the Central Atmospheric Monitoring System failed. And so it didn't tell people that the oxygen level was getting low and that the harmful gases were building up. And so the likely explanation for the suffocation is that somehow because the boat lost power, uh, mechanical failure, could be that the nuclear reactor stopped running, the submarine was just floating around and without power, the CAM system failed. And according to both Luda and the Daily Mail, the boat was trapped then by a PLA trap was designed for the US and UK submarines, but it got caught in its own trap. It's called the anchor and chain. And this is a heavy chain that then wraps around the propeller. So the boat couldn't uh, resurface to get support and get help. And then again, that's how it got stuck on the ocean, uh, in the bottom of the ocean. Meanwhile, according to Taiwan's UP Media, they provided a second plausible explanation. There was a failed torpedo test and that caused an explosion in the launch tube, so the torpedo exploded. And uh, then that caused a mechanical failure. So the boat again stopped running, and then everyone on the boat died. So those are the two kind of reasonings. Up Media also cited military commentators saying that the boat probably had more than 50 plus people who died, and that it was un inconceivable that uh, the ship would be unable to grasp where the exact the traps were, right? Because when you navigate, you should be able to know the locations of those. So this was further reinforced by map data and online resources from China. According to Duan Dan, a military watcher, there was a maritime uh, notice that was issued by the Liaoning Maritime Administration, and uh, it was for navigational warning, and it was around this area. And that was on August 21st, so a day before the submarine incident. And then such warnings were repeated for weeks after, until this week actually, October 6th. And so clearly, this indicates that they were doing some sort of a PLA naval weapons test in the area. And so the torpedo explanation could be plausible. However, one torpedo exposed, it means that another one could also happen. That's exactly what happened with the Kursk submarine back in 2000 from the Russians. And then in 2003, another Chinese submarine met the similar fate to the one we're now describing, where everybody on board died because, again, of a, a mechanical failure because of poor commands. So what still bothers a lot of people even then is, you know, how did they not know where those PLA traps, the anchors and chains traps are? And uh, either they were seriously incompetent and didn't know where these things were, or that they didn't know how to navigate out of it, or that something happened. So whether it is because they were trapped first by their own anchors and chains or a failed torpedo launch, both cases agree that the submarine has sunk and people have died. And so while there, there seems to not be a lot of details, what we do know and can assume is that both guesses do line up. Here's why. Uh, they actually don't contradict each other in terms of the details because both of these could actually be the combination and the real story could be that of both, right? So for example, let's talk about this. It could be a test failure for a torpedo launch that caused the system to stop working, right? The, mecha the mechanical failure. So then they dispatched a submarine uh, diver outside of the boat to try to repair. But in that process, he could have triggered an oxygen related issue, which then s caused everyone on board to die uh, because of lack of oxygen. And so this whole series of events could have happened at the same time, but we're only getting fragments of it or two different versions of that. And so without the power, because there was a mechanical shutdown, you don't have the onboard monitoring system. So everybody's suffocated to death. Sounds terrible, right? Now, this incident has caused the downfall of, of one of the top naval commanders for the Northern Theater. His name is Wang Dazhong. He's been arrested. 
And it's also been confirmed that Wang Dazhong uh, is somebody who is very close to Li Shangfu, the defense minister who has gone missing. This has been confirmed by at least two media, so it's probably true. Now, Wang Dazhong may also be a contribution, like I said, to the arrest of Li Shangfu, the defense minister. And uh, remember, right, this sub has mechanical issues, and it took place on August 21st. And that the last appearance of Li Shangfu was August 29th. Now, this could be for two reasons. Li Shangfu, before he was defense minister, he was in charge of equipment acquisition and logistics, where Wang Dazhong, the arrested naval commander, was his deputy during equipment acquisition. So that's in 2008. The second reason is that Li Shangfu, when he was in charge of equipment acquisition, he is responsible for keep making sure that the components of the submarine were all up to par, right? If mechanical failures because of those equipments were the reason, then that means that Li Shangfu was corrupt and he didn't source the best material for the war. And so these type of situations. Now today, according to the Daily Mail's second report on this issue, they have now come out and said that the reason the British intelligence knew about the submarine situation is because they bugged an Apple Watch from a Chinese military official. And so that led to information leaking from that official about the submarine incident. And that official has since been arrested and Xi Jinping is furious because now outside world knows about this. So the CCP believed that the watch was um, bugged and it was used to record conversations in which this officer was discussing it at a naval headquarter about the incident. Okay, it sounds like it's like Mission Impossible, Tom Cruise type of stuff, right? How could the MI6 tap the PLA's, you know, officer's Apple Watch? Isn't like Apple the most secure for the civilians? Well, first of all, the FBI or the British intelligence, they probably listen to all of us and, um, you know, this is not a piece of news, right? It's very plausible that they're tapping our, our devices. Now, remembering the early days of September, we heard that the CCP was actually banning Apple devices on all government official uh, use, right? So they literally took out iPhones and Apple Watches and et cetera, because they said it was national security reasons, so they had to ban it. It seems to make sense, right? That was in early September. The submarine incident happened in August. Could it be because of the wiretapping that they were doing with the Apple Watch caused this? Also yesterday, the Department of Justice uh, indicted a 29-year-old named Joseph Daniel Schmidt. And this guy was trying to send top natural security secrets to China. What happened was in his indictment, one of the evidence was they went into his Apple iCloud account, found map data suggesting he was trying to navigate through Google Maps to the Chinese Ministry of State Security, which is their spy arm. And uh, he was trying to give away information. And he did this while he was in Istanbul in Turkey. So they were able to uncover a lot of his searches and different sorts of data. He also previously searched terms like uh, soldiers defect, Chinese embassy, Russian uh, visa cost, etc., things like that. So they were able to gather all of this through his iCloud account. So everything is stored, right, by Apple. Now, it's not hard for intelligence agencies to, you know, go into somebody's account and do any sorts of these things. So that's just uh, child play for them. Overall, the submarine incident has caused great trouble for the CCP, particularly for Xi Jinping, because this is supposed to be the most important part of the naval force to invade Taiwan, like I said before. Uh, now you have self explosions and potentially mechanical failures leading to the death of 100 people, 50 people. Now the Type 093 is in decades old technology, right? It's actually based on old Russian design. So a lot of this does indicate that the CCP's actual military power is not as strong as I were being projected to see. All right, that's it today for the episode on more details surrounding the sunken Chinese submarine that killed 55 plus people. If you enjoy the content, leave a like, comment below your thoughts about this topic and subscribe to our channel. I'm David Zhang, this is China Insider. We'll see you next time.